Matt Tinney says he always knew something was different about his Mahoning County brother, John Tinney, since they were young. Fast forward and now, Tinney says his 31-year-old brother's mental health is out of control and believes it's the reason he's gotten into trouble with the law. Bipolar and manic depressive were his um, diagnoses, and then the most recent one was schizophrenia. I love my brother. They love their son. We all feel like we've lost a family member because we don't know what to do to help. So I reached out to mental health officials on what families can do if they're in a similar situation. The mental health board says it's easier to start with helping the family of the individual so the family knows how to react and what to say to get their loved ones treated. Well, the very first phone call should be a help network, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also call 211, which rings into help network. You have to, to want to get help. And so that's why I'm saying sometimes we have to help through the families, sometimes we have to help the individuals, sometimes unfortunately we have to help through the legal system. So if somebody breaks the law, then that's when we can step in and provide support but helps there. If your loved one is refusing help and having a current mental health issue, you can go to the county court to fill out a sworn statement on what's happening to get them into treatment. If we believe that affidavit is strong enough, we can issue an order for the, um, the deputy sheriffs to go out and pick them up and put them into the hospital for a mental health evaluation. Just be there for them. Keep, let them know that you're there for them, that you're going to keep trying and that you're not going to give up. A guardianship is another step, but Judge Rusu says it's important to remember a guardianship makes decisions for the loved one but does not control their every move. You can find a podcast with the Mahoning Mental Health and Recovery Board Executive Director on all the resources available on the 21 News app.